Hi guys, Mike here and in this part of the video review for the ASUS Transformer part, the Infinity, we're going to have a look at some benchmarks. And um, first of all, let's uh, be sure that we set uh, the device on high performance and uh, we are of course on performance mode. This is a Tegra 3 platform, faster than what you got on the Transformer Prime or, or uh, any of the other uh, Android tablets available right now. And we're going to start with two browser uh, benchmarks. First of all we have SunSpider and this is SunSpider 0.9.1 and let's see how fast this is going to be. Okay so here are the results nearly 2000 milliseconds which is actually quite good. You can go ahead and compare this course with uh, what uh, some of the other tablets are offering right now. I'm just going to show you the results here. Next we're going to run browser mark benchmark. Okay and here is the results nearly 2600 points actually a little bit up to 2600 points which is actually quite good. Okay let's zoom out and uh, let's try some of the other tests we have them over here and uh, we're going to try we're going to start with uh, Antutu first of all start test okay so here are the results let me zoom in a little bit so you have a total score of nearly 12 uh, 12,000 points and those are the scores for the memory the IO the CPU and the GPU. Okay, so that was Antutu. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and try Limpac for Android. And we're on performance mode, run single thread. Once again, let me zoom in a bit so you can see the results. So nearly 60 megaflops, let's run it again. Yeah, so it's, it's steady at just around 60 megaflops, sometimes it will go above, like now. So above 60, 62 megaflops. And on multi-thread, 93, 141, so it's not really that consistent. which is a little bit weird actually because there are so big differences but uh, it's pretty obvious that uh, most of the time you get above 100 megaflops for the multi-thread part of this particular application okay so that was Limpac the next test uh, we're going to try it's Quadrant and this is actually a quite popular benchmark here and let's see what uh, this one is going to tell us. Okay so here are the results our tablet managed to score nearly 5000 points and this makes it the top performer in this chart is actually quite good. Okay, next uh, application we're going to try is Nenamark 1 and let's run this one. Okay, so here are the results nearly 60 frames per second in Nenamark 1 and of course we're also going to try Nenamark 2 as well and see uh, I've already run this and uh, the best uh, performance was about 39 frames per second. I, I tried to run it a couple of times and it will score something around that kind, that number. Okay, and um, the final test we have here is CF Bench, which I think I ran, actually I didn't run. Let's go ahead and run this one and get back with the results. Okay, so here are okay, so here are the results for CF Bench, and um, 
You can see that uh, this uh, benchmark is placing our tablet beneath the Samsung Galaxy S2, the HTC One X and the Galaxy S3. Okay, uh, what uh, I should also mention is that during all these tests uh, the device uh, did get a little bit hot on the back and especially on the top left side. Probably this is where the CPU is placed, I don't really know how the internal configuration looks. Um, I can't say it gets hotter than the iPad, the new iPad, and that's of course probably because I also have the screen at 100% brightness. If I'm going to lower the brightness, uh, it will get a bit uh, uh, cooler. Still, uh, those are the benchmarks, those are the performance numbers. You can go ahead and analyze those yourself and can compare them to what some of the other popular Android tablets uh, manage to score or what uh, you can get on the iPads. Or you can wait for my uh, comparison, my written comparison, uh, that will analyze benchmarks on the site on TLBHD probably in the next uh, week. There will be a description in, uh, there will be a link in the description below. It will take you over there. Okay, thank you. That was all with this part of the video review for the Asus Transformer Infinity. Uh, those were the benchmarks. Also see all the other clips that we have on this tablet here on our YouTube channel. Thank you.